If you own a set of knives, unless you only use your knives for cutting butter, at some point you're going to want a knife sharpener. So the question is, are some knife sharpeners better than others? The smallest one we'll be testing is very small and light compared to the largest one, which is an electric one and very expensive. So does it provide just as good of an edge or is that electric one going to sharpen faster and do a better job? Well, let's get the testing underway and see which brand is the best. These are high carbon stainless steel knives. We'll be using these for all the testing. To measure sharpness, I'll be using a best certified sharpness tester. The way it works is I'll be using these test clips. There's a piece of test media running from the left to the right side. As the knife edge is pushing downward, this scale measures the amount of grams of force applied in order for the test media strip to be cut. This sharpness chart can with the scale. A double-edged razor blade is around a 50. A utility blade is anywhere from 150 to 200. A new high-end cuttery edge is from 250 all the way up to around 350. Edges that need maintenance are around 400. A butter knife is 2,000. I'm going to go ahead and get our baseline sharpness for the knife. Wow, that's actually pretty sharp at 265. In order to dull the blades in a standardized process, I'll be using this test jig that I put together. The way this works is this plate is fixed. The rest of the assembly is going to slide backwards. As the knife is sliding backwards, it's going to go over top of an object that's going to cause the blade to dull. This knife is going to be sliding across this piece of aluminum pipe. I'm going to slide across five times in order to dull the blades. I'll be applying two and a half pounds of weight on top of the blade. Let's see how much damage we did after five passes across that aluminum pipe. Okay, 655, that's not a very sharp knife at all. So let's go ahead and sharpen these blades and see how well these sharpeners work. At $10.97, the least expensive sharpener we'll be testing is this AccuSharp knife and tool sharpener. It claims to be rated number one. It claims to be the last knife sharpener you will ever need. Commercial grade and reversible blades. Made in the USA. To use, place knife on a stable surface with the cutting edge up and about half inch of the blade tip extending past the edge of the table as shown in the illustration. While holding the knife handle with one hand, hold the AccuSharp as shown with your fingers through the opening formed by the handle and the finger guard. At $13.97, the Sunrise Pro is the second least expensive sharpener we'll be testing. Now this is a very small and compact sharpener that actually attaches to a table with a suction cup. So the question is, is this one just as good as the more expensive electric ones? Made in Taiwan. Place the sharpener on most flat surfaces and pull down the handle to create suction that will lock the sharpener to the surface. Put the knife between the sharpener blades and slowly draw back the knife several times to develop a sharp edge on your knife. Please note, only draw the knife back. Don't push the knife forward. With the Sunrise Pro, you can see the metal shavings that are left behind after sharpening the knife. The third least expensive knife sharpener we'll be testing for $16.99 is this Kixlance Kitchen Knife Sharpener. It has three different slots for sharpening. Slot one is for preparation. It's a diamond rod to prepare and straighten damaged blades before actually sharpening them. Pull back several times. Slot two is for sharpening. It's a tungsten steel blade. To coarsely sharpen and restore the feet cutting edge, pull back several times. Slot three is for fine tuning and it's a ceramic rod. To finally sharpen, polish and eliminate burrs on the blade, pull back several times. Costing only $19.99 is this as seen on TV Bavarian Edge knife sharpener. They've reveal the secret to how this product works on the packaging. Two independent spring action sharpeners made from ultra hard tungsten carbide that flex in contour to many blades and angles. Introducing the Bavarian Edge, the innovative knife sharpener with an independent spring action arms that will make your old dull knives razor sharp in seconds. Made in China. To coarsely sharpen your blade, position the knife in your hand so that the knife's handle is higher than the tip of the blade. To finally sharpen your blade, position the knife in your hand so that the knife's handle is lower than than the tip of the blade. Next, gently pull the knife through the opening. To polish your knife's blade, giving it a very sharp, smooth edge, position the knife horizontally in your hand and through the opening of the Bavarian edge. Next, with your other hand, carefully separate the knife sharpener arms. Lightly move the blade in a back and forth sawing motion. Costing $39.99 is this Presto Professional Eversharp three-stage electric knife sharpener. Sharpens kitchen and sport knives quickly and easily. No guess sharpening. Precision guess Guides hold the knife at the perfect angle. Just draw the knife blade through each slot a few times and it's razor sharp. Made in China. 
The blade selector allows you to choose a thick, medium, or thin blade. If the blade is very dull or if you are sharpening the knife for the first time, begin with stage one coarse grinding. Begin by placing the knife in the left slot of the stage in use. The side of the blade should rest against the outside face of the blade guide slot and the cutting edge should make contact with the sharpening wheel. Using only light downward pressure, slowly pull the knife towards you through the slot, making sure to keep the cutting edge parallel with the table or the countertop except when sharpening the tip of the blade. If your knife is a bit dull, I'll begin with stage two precision grinding. If your knife just needs a little touch up, use stage three fine honing. The most expensive sharpener we'll be testing is this WorkSharp knife and tool sharpener costing $67.40. Extra sanding belts, the outdoor knife guide. These are the sandpaper belts. The red belt is for knife and scissor sharpening. The green is for grinding and sharpening most tools. The purple is for honing knives. The power switch is located at the bottom of the unit. Step one is to install the red belt. Change out the belt, push tensioner down and make one quarter turn to the right to lock in place. Center belt on all three pulleys. Use the red knob to adjust the top pulley for belt tracking. Step two, starting with the knife in the right side of the guide, squeeze the power switch, pull the knife straight and steady through the guide from bolster to point of blade. Continue until a slight burr develops on the opposite side, usually five strokes. Harder steel may require more strokes. Repeat step two, now using the left side of the guard. Let's see how sharp these blades are now that we've sharpened them. They all start off around 250 to 300 and we dulled them to around 655, beginning with the AccuSharp. 545 for the AccuSharp, so it really just didn't do a very good job sharpening the knife. Sunrise Pro. 410, so better than the AccuSharp, but still not very good. Kitchen Lunts. About 700, so this blade is just as dull as when we started. Bavarian Edge. 240, wow. This thing's actually sharper now than it was when we started. Presto. 430, so Presto just did not do a very good job. Work sharp. 455. Obviously, some of the knife sharpeners work a lot better than others, and a lot of this could be because of me, not because of the sharpener. So what I'm going to do is make one more attempt to sharpen these knives, and I'm going to use a lot more effort this time using more strokes for each of the blades to see if it makes any difference. Now that all the blades have been sharpened, let's take a quick look at each of the blades to see how much wear these sharpeners had on the knife edge. As the AccuSharp is pulled across the knife edge, it leaves a V-like shape. Looking at the blades under a microscope, the AccuSharp ripped away and completely reshaped the factory edge. The AccuSharp and the Sunrise Pro use the same design. While the Sunrise Pro and AccuSharp use the same concept for sharpening, the Sunrise Pro appears to have left a more jagged edge than the AccuSharp. Slot 1 has the diamond stone, slot 2 tungsten steel blades, slot 3 ceramic rods. The Kitchen Lunch seems to have left a more consistent and less jagged edge than the Sunrise Pro. The Varen Edge Sharpener uses two tungsten carbide sharpeners. Most of the factory ground edge is still intact. It seems like the Bavarian edge has only worked on the very leading edge of the blade. The Presto sharpener has gone to work on the entire edge of this knife and has totally reground the factory edge. Just like the Presto, the work sharp has also reground the entire factory edge on the knife. The belt sharpener seems to have left a concave style blade edge compared to the other brands which left more of a V shape. All right, I've attempted to sharpen each of these knives a second time. Let's see if it helped any. Starting with the AccuSharp. 380. Okay, from 545 to 380, much better, but still not the sharpest knife. Sunrise Pro. 480. Okay, so the Sunrise Pro actually became worse with more effort. Kitchelance. From 700 to 345, so much better. Presto. From 430 to 365, definitely improved. Work sharp. From 435 to 245, much better. The Bavarian Edge and the WorkSharp both did a terrific job sharpening, but the other brands didn't quite return the edge to factory sharpness. However, a sharpness below 400 is still pretty sharp. So if you have a really sharp knife and you tend to use it on a cutting board, what kind of edge is going to remain after you've used it a while? I'll be using a piece of Osage Oin, also known as Bodark or Hedge Apple, for this test. This wood is fully cured. What I'm going to do is add each one of the blades to this test device, pull the blade across it, back 
back and forth 10 times, and then we'll test the blades again for sharpness. We'll see if the simulated wood cutting board friction caused any sort of dulling with these blades. Beginning with the AccuSharp. From 380 to 430, so it did dull some. Sunrise Pro. 550. Kitchelance. 500. So the Kitchelance blade dulled quite a bit. Bavarian. 310, so it's still pretty sharp. Presto start at 365. Stay at 365, so Presto did very good. Work sharp. 255. Both the Work Sharp and the Bavarian Edge started off nearly equal in sharpness before the cutting board simulation, but the Work Sharp did a much better job maintaining its edge. The sharpness of the Presto stayed the same while the other blades dulled a bit. Another perspective is to consider the percentage of sharpness loss after the cutting board simulation. The electric powered sharpeners both seemed to provide a more durable blade edge than the mechanical sharpeners. The Presto didn't experience a detectable sharpness loss, but it didn't start out as sharp as some of the other brands. A super sharp blade is typically more sensitive to blade roll and dulling, but the Work Sharp only dulled by 4%. The other brands experienced a sharpness loss by over 10%. Sharpening a knife that's fairly sharp is one thing, but what about a knife that's experienced a lot of damage? Up next, we're going to run these blades across this grinding wheel several times in order to totally destroy the factory edge. Then we'll sharpen them with each of the sharpeners just to see how well they can sharpen the blade. All right, let's see how much damage we did to the blades. Okay, 2775. I don't think this is even as sharp as a butter knife. I'm gonna try to sharpen each one of these knives using the knife sharpeners. I'm also gonna use a timer to see how long it takes me to sharpen each blade. 35 strokes in 57 seconds, and it looks like it's fairly sharp. 25 strokes in 40 seconds, and it seems pretty sharp. A minute and 49 seconds for kitchelance. I'm going to try 15 strokes each just because this seems to work fairly quickly. I'm going to continue to sharpen this starting over just because it doesn't seem like I did very much to sharpen the blade. I'm going to give it another 15 strokes. The bearing edge still doesn't seem very sharp, so I'm going to go ahead and keep on trying. About 3 minutes and 15 seconds for the Presto. 3 minutes and 36 seconds for the Work Sharp. I'm going to start off with each of the blades, and if I don't get them back to the factory sharpness, I'm going to spend a little extra time trying to sharpen them to see how much longer it takes. Testing the AccuSharp. 945. Unfortunately, I didn't do very good sharpening this, so I'm going to go ahead and try to sharpen this a little longer. The knife received another 40 strokes on the AccuSharp, so let's test the sharpness of the blade. 190. Much better. Now the AccuSharp is the sharpest knife we've tested yet. Sunrise Pro. 355. I'm going to try to sharpen up the knife a little bit more with the Sunrise Pro to see if we can get it even sharper. 30 more strokes with the Sunrise Pro. Let's see how it does. 370 is about as sharp as I'm able to get this knife with the Sunrise Pro. Testing kitchelance. 630. I'm going to try to sharpen this up a little bit more to see if we can do better. I just spent a couple more minutes sharpening with the kitchelance. Let's see how it does. 365. I'm going to see if I can get it any sharper. I just spent a couple more minutes sharpening the kitchelance, so let's see how it does. 310 is about as sharp as I can make this knife. Testing the Bavarian Edge. 550, so I'm gonna have to spend a little bit more time sharpening this knife with the Bavarian Edge. I used the Bavarian Edge sharpener for a couple more minutes. Let's see if it does any better. 240, much better. Presto. 355, testing work sharp. 220, very impressive. The learning curve with the least expensive sharpeners is definitely a lot less compared to the more expensive ones, and the amount of time it takes to sharpen a blade is less as well. After the damage caused by the grinding wheel, it took several attempts to sharpen each of the blades, and the AccuSharp actually finished on top with regard to sharpness. A score of 190 is the same sharpness as a utility knife, and the Work Sharp wasn't very far behind in second place. The Bavarian Edge took a lot of effort to sharpen the knife, but it paid off with a very impressive sharpness of 200. Of the three knife sharpeners we tested, there are definitely three that I would consider buying, beginning with the AccuSharp at $10.97, very reasonable, and it did a very respectable job. It also did a fairly quick job as far as sharpening, and the edge seemed somewhat durable, but not as durable as some of the other brands. So if you keep a set of knives fairly sharp and you only need to do touch-up sharpening, it seems like the Bavarian Edge does a terrific job. However, it did seem to struggle a bit from bringing back that knife edge once we dulled it with the grinding wheel. In my opinion, the most expensive sharpener is the best sharpener, but it also has the steepest learning 
learning curve. It seemed to provide the most durable knife edge, meaning that you can use it longer before you have to sharpen it again. All my video ideas, including this one, come from viewers. I just want to say thanks for watching the video. I hope you'll take time to leave a comment. Please take care, and I look forward to next time.